Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about how to conditionally enter a context manager. Uh, I'm going to show you a bad solution and then a clever solution that uses a really cool class in the context lib module. Uh, let's jump into it. I'm also probably going to talk about some other use cases for this class as well, because uh, this, is, this is just one of them. All right, so let's make a file. Uh, and the function we're going to write in this file today is one which conditionally writes to a log file. Um, this actually, the, the code for this actually comes from pre-commit, so we're going to be re-implementing a function like that. And so what it looks like is output line, and uh, it takes a stream, which is an IO stir, and it also takes an optional uh, file name. Optional stir. And so what is supposed to be done here is it'll write, oh, it also takes a string, of course. <laughs> got to write the string somewhere. So it takes a string and it's supposed to write to this stream and it can optionally also write to a file name. From typing import IO, from typing import optional, that way we get our types here. And just to show you how this might be called, uh, you would have something like output line, hello world, and we would write to stream equals sys.standard out. And we might also write this to a file name named uh, log.log. .log. Oh, and actually, now that I look at this, I accidentally made this argument required. So we need to give it a, a default here. Optional stir equals none. And we're going to implement this function. So the way I might have written this before this feature was added to Python is something like this. So if File name is not none, then with open file name as f, and then for stream in f stream, uh, stream, oh well, for output stream in f stream, output stream dot write f, and then the other condition when we don't have a file name is just output stream dot write f. And, uh, you know, in this case, the, the writing is actually, well, and actually we need new line because uh, it's supposed to be right line, not just right. And this should be S. Uh, S. And this, you know, this would be fine. However, you'll notice I have to duplicate this code here. And if this operation might have been more complicated, you would potentially duplicate a lot of code here uh, just to have, you know, a conditional context here. Um, another way that I've seen this written before is to define a empty context. Uh, import context lib, context lib dot context manager def empty, which just does nothing and yields nothing. So this is kind of your trivial context manager. And so you might instead write this, so this is kind of option one. Uh, comment, and then, you know, option two is Option two, you would define your context as, uh, you know, open file name if file name is not none, else an empty context. And then you could do with ctx uh, and then do your do your logic here. You know, um, something like uh, streams equals stream. Actually, we have to do this a little bit more complicated. If file name is not none, uh, stream, well, file equals open file name, uh, streams equals stream file, and then uh, context equals open file name, otherwise streams equals stream and context equals empty. And then you can do with ctx, for stream in, for output stream in streams. Just copy and paste this code. Uh, and so you might write it like this. And so what I did here is I made an empty context manager, just kind of a trivial one here. And um, we don't enter the context here. That's kind of the, the key part of what makes this work. We enter this context afterwards. Now this has some problems. Uh, oh, this should be context equals file. Um, maybe instead of using the previously reserved word files that we don't get weird highlighting in my text there, we'll use F instead. Um, 
And this has a couple of problems. The first is we open this file here, and if somehow we caused an exception between that line and here, this file would never be closed. And so you you potentially leak resources there. Um, another problem with this is, you know, it, it, looks, it looks a little strange. Uh, but this does work. The other thing you can do is instead of having uh, an empty context manager here, there is a special thing in context lib. Oh, I forgot to actually import context lib. Um, let's actually make sure that this runs since we haven't done anything yet. F referenced before assignment. Oh. Or up at stream in streams. There we go. File not found. Oh, we need to open it in writing mode, which means up here we also need to open it in writing mode. Um, but anyway, here we go. And now if we look at log.log, .log, you'll see that it, it contains this value. Um, there is actually a new thing, I believe it's new in Python 3.7, where instead of using, instead of defining your own dummy context manager, you can use uh, contextlib.nullcontext. And this works, you know, the same as that uh, context manager that I had above. And so you can see that this this also works there. Uh, let's actually write something that's different than hello world, uh, just so we can see that it's actually doing this separately. So you can see hello world, goodbye world, and our log contains goodbye world. Okay, this is another way to write this, but this is not how I would write this because you know we have that we have that problem where there could be an error after this opening, such that you're not managing this context properly. So let's do a third option, which is going to use the class that I intended this video to be about. Oh, why did it do that weirdly? Text editor Y. Huh. That's weird. Uh, probably because there's this blank line here. I don't know why that commenting is broken. I'll have to fix that in my text editor. Anyway, there we go. That's what I wanted it to do. Um, and so option three is using a class called the exit stack. And what an exit stack lets you do is it allows you to um, start a context and then add things to the context manager that will get torn down eventually. Uh, this can be useful if you have like a variable number of contexts or if you have an optional context like we're dealing with today. And so the way to use that is you'll use with context lib, context lib dot exit stack as ctx and so by default this does nothing so there's there's no context that have been entered here and so this this doesn't tear down anything at the end and so we can say streams equals stream um, if let's see if file name is not none we can conditionally enter a context by doing ctx dot enter context and open file name in write mode and we can do streams.append this. And so what this will do is it will add this to the things that will get torn down here. Uh, it also returns the value that it got in, so you can then append it to your list of streams here. And then finally, we can do our you know, for output stream in streams, output stream.write like this. And I think this is kind of the, the best of the three worlds here. Uh, you kind of had to do one of these first two options if you were in Python 2 where this thing didn't exist. Uh, but now I believe all modern Python 3 versions contain this, so it's safe to use now. You could also have used the backport. There's a backport in a package called context loop 2. Uh, but if we write in this again, you can see that, again, we wrote to this file conditionally. Um, but yeah, that's exit stack. You can also do this in a loop too, so it will enter and exit context. And this is also safe um, because there's no code between entering this context and, or sorry, creating this context manager, or creating this file and entering it. So uh, we don't have the same bug that we had up here where there was places where you could conditionally make mistakes or, you know, add code between here that's buggy and end up with resource leakage. Uh, here we're always inside this context. And so this enter context is always going to get called. And so we don't have to worry about that. The other thing is like, if you're conditionally adding more things to your context manager, it's smart and knows to only tear down the ones that have been uh, set up uh, because, you know, <laughs> if it errored while you're setting one up, then it's not going to tear that one down. So this is kind of a, a nice way to do that. But anyway, that's exit stack. Um, there's a couple other methods on it, but I think the most useful one is this enter context. You can also use it for, you know, tearing down stuff manually as well or uh, building multiple context managers. But 
This, I think, is the, the most useful use of it. But anyway, if you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.